Introduction. In this video, we describe our annual sling to the 9,500 hectare Malibangwe Nature Reserve close to Bella Bella in the northwest. We share our planning, execution, and review the facilities at the reserve. We also share some footage from previous visits and some general aviation tidbits. Planning. We have slinged to Mabalingwe from Wunderboom, Kitty Hawk and Aviators Paradise airfields many times before. It is a standard annual outing we book long in advance with our holiday club points. Closer to the time, we normally invite some friends or family to join us, as our Mabalingwe accommodation is normally a two-bedroom, six-sleeper loft unit. This year, we invited our flying friends Ian and Adrian to join us and they accepted. The routing is very simple and the only real planning was to check the weather, acquire permission to land there, to enable closure of both the runway thresholds for cars and to organise transport. The forecasted weather was perfect for flying. How many places on earth can boast with total open skies no wind and 26 degrees Celsius maximum temperatures in the middle of winter. One of the main reasons we love staying in Pretoria in South Africa. Getting there. The Friday morning of the flight we were presented with a perfect flying weather as forecasted. At flight care we did our pre-flight checks as usual on Whiskey Mike Mike. Wonderboom ground routed us to runway 29er along runway 06 and outbound at the Royval power station through the Pretoria General Flying Area number one. We decided to fly over the Twine Crater for a change, not far off our direct route. We had a very stable flight and further due to the short flight remaining and the magnetic track being greater than zero degrees, we, as usual, did not even ascend to flight level 75 for flight information north, but just stayed low level. We arrived at Mabalingwe a short while before Ian and Adrian from Krugersdorp and did our required two circles before landing on runway 04. Review of the runway. Due to the bushveld lining the runway on both sides, the runway itself is quite difficult to distinguish before you are very close, but the little hilltop at the 2-2 threshold is quite distinguishable from further. The runway is 1100 meters long by 7 meters wide at 3850 feet altitude with a smooth asphalt surface. Runway 04 has to be used for landing and 2-2 for takeoff due to the small hilltop just to the north of the 2-2 threshold. The 04 runway is also slightly uphill. The dominant winds favours the landing. You may have to take off with a slight tailwind but at least downhill. With its short takeoff capability, the sling will be able to take off on 04 as it will already be high enough to divert for the small hill. The windsock is closer to the 2-2 threshold to the east of the runway. 
directly across a very distinguishable marilla tree. The runway is part of the main road into the reserve. There may be animals on the runway and two circles are also required for closing the runway for car traffic. Parking is to the west of the 2-2 threshold with a cable for anchoring. Tip. Due to the various of the usual visual and foreign air filled factors, be aware of being hot and high on a final on your first landing here. Being there. The operations manager, Mariana, fetched us from the airfield, took us to the on-site shop for wood and charcoal and then to reception. After signing in and being briefed by Grace, Mariana took us to our chalet where she has organized help to unload our luggage. She then took us back to the La Ferra on-site restaurant for an early lunch. Mariana really excelled in the service she organized and provided and we thanked her dearly for that. Facilities We had very tasty chicken salads and chicken burgers at a very reasonable price at the Vulture's view deck. Some of us topped it up with Robert's well-made cappuccinos and then walked back the 450 meters to our chalet in the Ingwe camp. We also had well presented and tasty pensioners special breakfasts in the restaurant on Saturday and Sunday morning. We can strongly recommend the meals at the La Ferra restaurant. An interesting separate coffee shop next to the general shop has been introduced recently. A health spa has also been added to the facilities at the reserve. Accommodation is available at the caravan park self-catering timeshare at Mabalingwe Nature Reserve itself or fully inclusive at the four-star private boutique lodge on the same property, Itaga. Mabalingwe itself is divided into a number of different camps and privately owned lodges. We have stayed in most of the Mabalingwe camps over the years. The main swimming pool and pat pat course is situated at the shop. A cold and heated pool is also available just below the restaurant. Each camp also has its own swimming pool. We have stayed and had functions at Itaga a number of times. It has its own fully inclusive restaurant, swimming pool and guided game drives. Transport in the Reserve a small additional fee is charged for transport from the airfield to and from the Mabalingwe accommodation. The Kubi, Firi and Kualata camps are far from the restaurant and car transport is ideally required. We normally invite friends with their cars when we go to them. If we go on our own we prefer Itaga private reserve where everything is together and the game drives are included in the accommodation costs. Their transport from the airfield is for free and it is therefore much easier to get by without a car. Once we had to extend our stay there due to extensive thunderstorms and they really went out of their way to accommodate us even though they were fully booked. Game Various types of guided game drives are available throughout the day at a very reasonable cost but one can also drive with a normal car on well-maintained sandy dirt roads. On Sunday afternoon, we what went for a guided game drive with France. We saw a number of different antelope and some of the big five and had a sundowner at one of the dams. On Sunday morning, we went on the well-attended predator feed game drive with Andre. Although we are not in favor of predators in captivity, each of these animals had their own unique story and are being kept in big natural camps. In this situation, it makes conservation sense to have them there. We saw lion, caracal, servet cat, wild dogs, spotted hyenas, cheetahs and tigers being fed. On our way back, we also saw hippos and leopard spoor. In the evenings, we had different delicious brais at our chalet and Ian excelled with an excellent pecan steak and vegetables the Sunday evening. The thatched chalets are very well spread out with open nature views. The interior is comfortably furnished 
and beds are comfortable with good linen. A fireplace, braai and TV come standard. The main bedroom's ensuite bathroom only has a bath, but the other bathroom has a standard shower. The third loft room is private enough for a third couple if really required. The kitchen is well equipped for self-catering. Review of the Lodge we really love going to Mabalingwe and always find the staff extremely friendly and helpful. The accommodation, roads and facilities are always in a well-maintained condition. The animals are also very healthy. All in all, really good value for money and worth a visit. Getting back. The Monday morning we were again presented with perfect flying weather as forecasted. Another beautiful day in Africa. After we had a light breakfast, Andre took us to the runway as Mariana was busy. The personnel already diverted the cars to the alternative dirt road while we prepared our aircraft. Adrian took off first on runway 22 just after 10 o'clock and we followed shortly afterwards. We had a very stable and uneventful flight and stayed low level at 6,000 feet due to the short distance and radio communications to flight information in that area not being very reliable at the lower flight level 65. We contacted Wunderboom at Royval Power Station and were cleared in for a standard join on right hand downwind for runway 29er. Thank you, Father God, for the privilege of such an enjoyable and amazing experience. May the sharing inspire, entertain and educate other like-minded travellers to experience the same.